Hello, N4H and H here. A uh, quick little tip here with the FTDX 5000 MP, but what I'm going to show you applies to most radios out there. So I've got this super weak CW station out there, not even moving the S meter. Now I can I can go to amp two here, pull him in a little better with the extra sensitivity, but you hear, of course, that brings in more noise, and most of that noise is filter ripple. So I'm going to kick in the notch filter look over on the bottom right of the screen and you'll see that it's currently set 540 hertz so 60 hertz below my side tone my side tone is set at 600. hear the noise come back okay this is my notch trick that you've seen on other videos now what i want to show you now is uh well if he'll come back I want to show you how you can also employ that notch trick to knock out QR Mary. In fact, knock out QR Mary that is super close in frequency. Let's see if I can find somebody else. Okay, let me see if I can get this. Watch. I'll explain it after I do it. Okay, so here's this guy centered up at 14044. Hear that other signal? I'm going to tap my CW button top right here on the video. Uh, when the station starts transmitting again. Here, here they're going. Try to catch another one like that. What I want to show you is, while I'm waiting, is if the person you're listening to, um, well, let's say just you and another person are in a queue, so like if it were me and this person here on 14044, and, and somebody else comes in, near us and is causing interference. Now I can try toggling CWU to CWL, CW upper side insertion or lower side insertion, um, and just look for the video I shot about that uh, called CWU or CWL, the question mark. But, um, so I can try that to, and what that'll do is it'll change the pitch of the other station since they're offset, so it'll make it either a low pitch or a high pitch. Let's see if another one comes along. Okay, you hear that? He's a little off. You can see it by the indicator here. See the pitch change when I switch went from CWU to CWL. See then the display. That just changes which side of this carrier frequency my beat frequency oscillator is inserting the signal that's going to produce my side tone. So I'm either going to insert it on the upper side or the lower side of that frequency. All right, so see. Now watch what happens when I press the notch filter. I've got the notch at 540. Let me move it again so you can see 540. See how that cut them out? So if you will get that Okay, so let me let me recap how you do this. When you got somebody that's offending, whether they be 
coming in from higher or lower. And that, I mean, that station was literally not even 50 hertz away. If I toggle from CWU to CWL, whichever way you have to go, you want to toggle so where the offending signal is the lower pitch. And then you kick in your manual notch and you adjust it to, to the point where you can still hear the station you want to hear, but you knock out that low pitch. Hopefully you caught that as I was toggling back and forth. See if we can get another example in here. Now that one he's listening to is on frequency with him. I generally start out at 520, 80 hertz below my side tone. Just remember that 80 hertz below your side tone is a good starting point. You see what's going on is he's probably spotted for 14044 and other people are coming in there and their transmitters are just a little off frequency. Their, major, their radio may be tuned to 14044, but their uh, transmitter could be a little off frequency and that causes their signal to be you know, up or down from the center line. The center line is letting me know that he is dead on frequency. And that lets me know that I am hearing a 600 hertz side tone. Or pretty close to it. KB2 IOF. Well, you know what? He's a strong signal, so why don't I just use him? I'm going to move my VFO. So he was straight up 000. zero, zero. I'm going to move 40 hertz. Okay, you hear him, that's him. Notice his pitch is low. That's good. Now I could hit CW again and switch it over to CWL, lower sideband insertion. Hear him go high pitch, so I want him low pitched. Now at 40 hertz away, see I just turned him into chirps, 40 hertz away. Now if he was 60 hertz away. Let's wait till he comes back now. There he is. So 60 hertz away. So even that strong signal can be knocked way down, like almost just, I basically turned him into chirps. So just wanted to give you another tool in your arsenal there. So any radio could do this. Here's the key. Use your CWL or your CWU option to get that offending side tone to be low pitched. Okay, again, it meaning that you're in a QSO with somebody and somebody else comes in. Let's say he's 100 hertz away. You're going you're gonna to have no trouble at all knocking that out. I've shown that in a video a month or two ago when I was comparing this radio to the FTDX-10 um, for, uh, for fighting QR Mary. I think that video is entitled Sherwood Should Have Retested the 5000. Yeah, his test is a little different, but in other words, the 5000 can hold up to any radio out there if you work it correctly. So back to my point. So if somebody moved in even as close as 60 hertz away, I can, I can deal with it. If they're 100 hertz away, I can knock them out completely. And the key is, look at that. Hear that signal? I, you just toggle your CW key to where you make that offending station a low pitch. 
Let me turn off the, so you can hear. Okay, you hear the low pitch? I don't want him high pitched, I want him low. Engage your manual notch. Now, also, you need to go into your menu and make sure your manual notch is set to narrow. Put it on its most narrow option. So he's only 60 hertz away. How do I know that? Let's move down. There he is. Centered up. Now I'm going to go 100 hertz away. Let me turn off the manual notch. So here we are 100 hertz away. Okay, see, 520, 80 hertz below my side tone. You gotta find that sweet spot. Now you see what I'm doing. I'm using the manual notch filter to notch out a 520 hertz side tone. That's the trick. And make sure you get that. See, I, I can bring him back when I go higher. I can bring him back when I go lower. What I've done is I've used CW, U, or L to get him at a low pitch. And then I'm notching out that low pitch so that I can hear the person that I want to hear. So in other words, if I were in a QSO with someone right here at 14044.100, he's at 14044.000. I can knock him completely out so he doesn't interfere with my QSO. That's the key. And again, combination of using CWL or CWU with your manual notch set to narrow. And put your manual notch, start at 520 if you're using a 600 hertz side tone, 80 hertz below the side tone frequency, and then just move it up or down a little bit. Just vary it, plus and minus, until you've successfully knocked out the offending tone. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful and informative. And uh, let me remind you once again, I did this with a Yesu FTDX5000. Happens to be an MP model, which comes with a 300 hertz roofing filter, and I do have that enabled as well. I've got my DSP at 50 hertz. Oh, let me switch it over. 50 hertz bandwidth. I am running digital noise reduction at 15, and the APF was enabled at zero hertz offset. So that, you know, my... my tic-tac-toe uh, winner there, you know. If you've watched my videos in the past, let me pan over so you can see the whole thing. There we go. So it's a tic-tac-toe setup. APF is at zero hertz offset. Uh, width is down at 50, digital width, and then DNR, digital noise reduction, at 15. So you, you, you who have watched my videos for quite a while now, you see me do this all the time. It's like I just won it tic-tac-toe diagonally. That's my setup. And then all I did was I added to that the manual notch filter at 80 hertz below the side tone frequency, and my side tone frequency is 600. I'll, I'll turn the knob and let you see right here where it's set. See, 600. So that's the side tone frequency on the 5000. So no matter what radio you have, try this. Set your side tone at 600. Um, and then turn on your um, DSP, you know, whatever level you have, uh, digital noise reduction, um, you know, in, in the Yesu here, DNR. Uh, then use your, also use your DSP to narrow your bandwidth down to 50, maybe 100 at the most. Um, if you have a radio with an audio peak filter, engage it. Um, some of the radios of other brands do not have an APF. I know Elecraft does. And uh, then go into your menu and set your manual notch to its most narrow option. And then engage that manual notch 80 hertz below. So that's 520. And then move it up and down until you can knock out that offending signal. Okay, hopefully that is um, clear and, and concise. 
If you have any questions, of course, you can uh, post that in the comments. And again, no, no matter what radio you have, you should have uh, some of these abilities. You may not have the audio peak filter, but you should be able to come close to what I've just shown you here. Thanks again for watching. Uh, thank you to my Patreon supporters who make these videos possible. These videos are brought to you by uh, the dedicated Patreon supporters of this channel, and I do appreciate them for that. And if you'd like to also join the team and become a Patreon supporter of N4H&H Radio, go to www.patreon.com forward slash N4H&H. I'll put it on the screen. That's patreon.com forward slash N4H&H. And if you would, please like the video that helps us with YouTube. And then also consider subscribing to the channel. If you do subscribe, uh, please click that notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload a new video. Okay, again, thanks for watching, and 73 from N4 H&H.